Okay, so I've done many videos on this cheapest laptop, $69.99 from TikTok, and uh, it's running a Celeron processor. I'm currently running Windows Tiny 11 on it, but I've always meant to take it apart and have a look at what's inside. So let's shut this down and have a look. So I did take the screws out a while ago, um, and I had to remove one of these little security tabs, but all the screws have been removed, and you can prise it open with one of these. I, I started to open it, realized I could open it, and uh, wait until I could do it in the video, so I haven't done this yet. Let's try and get somewhere in here. Just gotta get one bit that... Ah, there we go. So we've got a bit of an opening here. So always be careful with that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's come away. And you can see there's some sort of shield in there, but nothing else in the base. A couple of little speaker cutouts. And then definitely dominated by this huge battery. Uh, or is it just a cover? So 4,500 milliamp hours, 8.7 volt. Do not disturb the battery. Well, it looks like there's nothing else under there really uh, of note. So here we've got this little board which gives us a USB 3 headphone jack and a micro SD slot uh, and then we can take this out by just removing this ribbon cable but there's no need to do that what we really need is whatever's under here on this side we've got USB-C uh, mini HDMI power cable and another USB 3 try and get a bit more light I'm going to use my little solar power bank which if I Double tap it, that's probably a bit better. If I go this end, so try, let's try one of these little tiny Phillips screws. I guess this is just like a little heat sink, it's very thin. Uh, and then there's various different little bits here that I'm gonna have to prise off to be able to have a look underneath. What's this bit here, like an antenna here, look that goes under and yeah all the way along here the wi-fi has been fine on it does this start to move yeah it does look like it starts to move anyway let's just sit try and prise these little bits off still amazed that this was 69 pound uh, it is it is really good for what it is and definitely runs oh it's another screw in it and my builders have just started making some noise outside. Now we're talking and I can just flip this back. So I thought what I'd do is switch over to my iPad uh, for the next bit. And uh, what I've done is taken a few photos of inside it with and without extra light because you can really get in close. And uh, this is a, a 11 inch iPad Pro, not the latest model. But uh, you know, just to see what the components are and various things like that. So I've taken some photos and uh, which one is the best one? Yeah, they, so these you can read all the writing. So what you can do is you can press and hold and we can look up what individual components are. So if we search the web, I've already done this one as you can see. Uh, so sleep NAND VCC power supply. So we can go back from that and go back into the camera and see what these are. I would imagine they're four individual gigabytes of RAM. Did not match any documents. Has it put a different digit in? Yeah, it should be an S, not a dollar sign. So let's change that. 48 gigabyte. Talks about it must be RAM look, because it's talking about gigabyte. So I'm happy that that's the RAM. I'm trying to work out where the storage is. Maybe it's not on the board. Maybe it comes through one of the cables that's attached to it. So that's definitely the CPU with the the thermal pad on it. I don't know what that is. I in and out controller chip. Okay, and let's go to one of these more zoomed out ones. That's the Wi-Fi antenna down here, well, probably Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. 
yeah, I don't think there's any flash storage on there. So maybe it's this interface down here uh, that goes underneath the battery. And this is obviously to do with power to the battery. We can see the plus and minus symbols there top right. Yeah, I think I'm going to, have to take it apart a bit more. So let's disconnect this battery. There we go. And this little tiny thing here, not sure I'll leave that in there because that looks like it'll be hard to get back in. I think it might be to do with speakers because it seems to go out to uh, the speakers which are up here and here. So more screws. What was that? Caution. Do not disassemble or repair this battery. Do not squeeze thrust short circuit the battery. Uh, yeah, well, it's lithium ion, so we yeah we need to be careful. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't careful. Is that attached to anything else? No. Okay, so here is the battery. It's like two separate bits joined together, it seems like. Oh dear, I can see circuit boards down here and some stuff at the front, but I think that's to do with the mouse pad. Uh, there's definitely something under this bit, but it doesn't look like this bit comes away. It looks like you maybe access it from the top. So this bit, yeah, that's, de that's definitely not moving anywhere unless I take the whole lot out. It must be a way of getting in. I've got another model number I can scan in here on this cable to see what it is. Your maths problem. Okay, uh, it's probably missed something out, is it? Yeah, it's done. What's it done? It's done something really weird. So if I put them side by side, see how wrong it got it. God, really got it wrong. Pride dash. Okay, let's try that. No, didn't match any documents. So if this came out and all of this, yeah, I really, I really have to take out loads of bits to get to what's under there. Uh, but I really want to know what's under there. That's definitely the mouse pad. Well, while we're here, let's just have a look at the CPU. Let's pull this thermal pad off. Could replace it with, oh, <laughs> oh dear. Let's just break the thermal pad. It's really, to one part, it's really stuck on. It really doesn't want to come off. There we go. So there is the CPU. Not the most exciting looking CPUs. It's got um, a little arrow on one of the corners. Does that mean it's removable? So you could upgrade the CPU possibly? I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> Not gonna put much, much pressure on it. Uh, by the way, this isn't a how-to. Uh, definitely don't, don't do as I do. Watch uh, something like iFixit or something like that to learn how to do it properly. I don't really feel any movement there, but I'm not sure if this is just a bit thicker than... Again, I still want to use this laptop, so I don't want to, I don't want to mess too far. No, that's, I would say that's pretty solid. I don't feel any movement there at all. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to pursue that. Right, let's put on the completely intact thermal pad slightly uh, off center and uh, let's pop that back on because it does seem to keep, keep pretty cool uh, and I'll have a look at the other side but I reckon that's as probably as far as I'm prepared to go on a laptop that I'm still going to keep and use stick some of these bits back down just before I put the battery on I'm just going to flip it over and just have a look and see if it looks like I'd be able to get in through the top. I know sometimes in the past I've had laptops where you replace the RAM by going underneath the keyboard. No, there's only that layer that I've already taken off. So I think it's likely that the drive is replaceable, but I think at this stage I'm not prepared to go any further. 
and it's certainly not an easy swap. Uh, you are, it looks like you're gonna have to take all this out, take off this whole plate, and uh, and then just to get access to that. It's a shame that this part of it couldn't have been open or more accessible. Yeah, it could be possible to replace the EMMC drive, but there's no other ports for adding internal drives. Uh, the RAM is obviously on the board itself. So yeah, I think I'll end it there. Well, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, if you've had similar laptops and, and what you've done to be able to get to it. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this as it is. I'm sure there are more videos in the future on this laptop. I really like it. Uh, and uh, well, we'll see if it works after I put it back together again. It's probably more sensible to put these screws in before I attach the battery. Okay, so that's back on. Let's reattach the battery. Yep, that's the last of the battery screws. Yeah, that's all fine. This seems to be coming unstuck. I can push it back down again. Right, so let's pop that back on. I've got to find the screws. I, I took these screws out ages ago. You can, I've been using it in all my videos without the screws. Sounds lovely of doing that. And the moment of truth. <laughs> no green light. Press it a bit longer. There you go, green lights come on. I was a bit worried then. And it felt like it took longer for the display to come on, but obviously it's just uh, me worrying about it. So the keyboard and the trackpad is all working fine. Yeah, it's everything's fine. And in fact, if we go to the browser and go to my YouTube channel, you can see I've got a playlist on this laptop. Cheapest code of laptop. I've upgraded from Windows 10 to 11. I installed Chrome OS Flex, which ran really, really well on it. Uh, I also put uh, Kubuntu on there with the KDE Plasma interface, which was great. Uh, I've had MX Linux on there, although I didn't do a separate video. And uh, I've also done some gaming and Tiny11, which is currently on there now. So I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.